America's Got Talent has had some truly unforgettable moments, mainly the golden buzzers. Who could forget when little old Courtney Hadwin walked onto the stage shaking her legs and singing like Steven Tyler? Who could forget little old nine-year-old Angelica Hale singing her little heart out? But the question remains, where are those people now? What happened after America's Got Talent? Well, that is what we are going to be talking about because you are watching Not So Clueless with me, your host, Cameron, and I am going to be telling you all things useless to make you a little less clueless. And today's topic is none other than, you guessed it, the top 10 unforgettable golden buzzers on America's Got Talent. And where are they now? Going in with number one, it is Courtney Hadwin, who we had just spoke about, age 13 when she auditioned on season 13 of America's Got Talent. This was her unforgettable moment. Brilliant stuff indeed. Unforgettable to say the least. She was all over the news. She was all over talk shows and all over YouTube at the time. But what happened to her after the show? You may ask. Well, wonder no more and ask no more. Because this is what the hell happened to Courtney Hadwin. This is what she looked like as we remember. And this is what she looks like today. Currently, she is 17 years old. Does she still make music? Yes, she does. Where is she seen? On TikTok. So after AGT, she got a record deal with Cinco Entertainment and she was even lined up to do the 50th anniversary of Woodstock back in August 2019. Unfortunately, that show was indeed cancelled due to organisational issues. Since then, she has been making her career on TikTok where she has grown quite a large fan base. But with so much more to say, let's move on. Number two, Darcy Lynn was 12 years old when she auditioned. Who could forget the little happy-go-lucky kid that was Darcy Lynn? How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to her after AGT? Well, if you are a fan of America's Got Talent, you have probably seen her more than anyone else. Why? Because ever since she has been on, she has returned for every single show things to do a guest performance. So we have literally seen Darcy Lynn grow up right in front of our eyes. This was her on season 13 when she performed. This was her on season 14 when she performed. This was her with a new puppet on season 15 when she performed. This was her on season 16 when she performed. And of course, she came back from America's Got Talent, The Champions. Now 17 years old, estimated net work of $8 million. She's still touring with her own show, My Lips Are Sealed, and she has gathered over 4 million views on TikTok, just like everyone else who is heading to TikTok to find fame or grow their fan base. This is the kind of video she makes today, still showcasing her puppet Petunia, who hasn't grown at all and looks very much the same. But Darcy Lynn, of course, has grown. But we've seen that because she's been on every America's Got Talent. Number three is Grace Vanderwall, who was on season 11 of America's Got Talent at just age 12. She grabbed the nation's heart with her ukulele playing and a very much indie throwback pop type of music, songs of which she wrote herself. That, that video alone was the top 10 most trending video of 2016 and is the most watched video on the America's Got Talent YouTube channel. Since the show, she has very much been continuing to work on her music whilst at the same time trying to branch out her career and diversify. Shortly after, she signed with IMG Models to kickstart her modelling career. Then, later, she took to acting. By in 2020, she starred as the poster girl and lead actor in Disney Plus's Star Girl, which you can see her there, making her move into acting. Now, I didn't personally watch this movie, although it did not bomb. Rotten Tomatoes puts it at a very reasonable 68%, and sure, it doesn't have the most reviews in the world, but this is a Disney Plus movie in which she was the lead. It's safe to say that we have not seen the last of Grace Vanderwall, but this is what she looks like today. Day, and I imagine we're going to see much more of her, whether it be music, modelling or indeed acting. Now number four, who could forget Angelica Hale, the nine year old with a set of lungs on her. 
she was on season 12 of America's Got Talent and her audition went a little something like this. Now with a voice like that, it was clear to see that she was going to make something of herself, which she did. After AGT, she did many of performances from TV to live. This is her at the NFL performance the following year. Currently, Angelica Hale looks like this. She is now 14 years old and is mostly seen on social media, but not TikTok. No, she prefers YouTube which she has almost 3 million subscribers and as you can see posts pretty consistently every single week so she's very much making a career for herself not just music but also youtube now number five was sal valentina who was 20 years old when he auditioned for season 11 his audition went something like this and now the end is near and so I face the final curtain, my friends, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I am certain. Since then, he has very much stayed within his lane of music. He released songs, he even released a Christmas album. Later on in his career, in 2017, he released a second album, which was The Voice, followed by yet another Christmas album. This time it was called Christmas Presents and was a mass of covers of all your favourite Christmas songs. Very much the Michael Bublé roots of career and he's still doing shows to this day just take a look at his current upcoming shows here number six well it has to be mandy harvey who could forget the ukuleleist and singer who was deaf so since the show he now looks like this she used the platform not just to promote herself and her music but also for her deaf community after the show, she partnered with a tech company to create a device that would allow people to hear music the same way she does, through vibrations. Currently, she's focused more on her personal life. She got married to a man who we don't know, but I've heard his name Travis. He's very much out of the limelight. And just a few days ago, she announced this on her Instagram. That is, if you didn't guess it, she is pregnant. Number seven, and it is Michael Katero. Katero, Katero, Michael. Now, he still does work as a nurse. And although he has almost 100,000 followers on Instagram, his music career hasn't really taken off the way it should have after such an incredible golden buzzer moment. But that is what a domestic violence claim will do to you, I suppose. Talk about defamation. Moving on to number eight, we have Michaela Phillips. Now, she was 15 when she auditioned on season 13, and this is how that audition went. So what happened to her after America's Got Talent? Well, this is what Michaela Phillips looks like now. As you can see, very much different. She is now 19 years old, but does she still make music? Yes, she does. In fact, after America's Got Talent, she really pushed to continue that career. She then auditioned for American Idol, where she reached the top 10. And since then, she has been continuing to make music very much in this kind of pop-ish Demi Lovato styled way just recently in fact just the other month one of her new songs 
Drown in Alcohol was named May's best song of the month and she is continuing to release music and grow a fan base. This is one of her recent songs called Lips Like Kanda and while she was releasing music she's growing her fan base and social media posting pictures and videos mainly of music behind the scenes. Moving on, number 9, which is Zerkaro. Now this performance is quite different than the rest that have been on this list, because where the rest has been following the career of one person, this is a group, a group of over 40 people with different ages. However, we had to add them to the list because they were unforgettable. And in fact, they did quite well. In fact, if you check out their website where you can book them, you will see that from the bottom with America's Got Talent, they pretty much reap the benefits way through 2019 from performances in Egypt to Brazil to London, which is the Royal Variety one we had just watched. And then their last one was in 2020 as the pandemic hit, which is an unfortunate tale. But we must move on because we are on to number 10, Sophia Dossie, who was 14 when she auditioned on season... 13 of America's Got Talent doing aerialist, gymnastics, contortionist. Now after the show, she did return to America's Got Talent to do America's Got Talent the championship this is what she looked like on america's got talent as we remember this is what she looks like now does she still bend herself any which way yes she does this is her in more recent times but what has she been doing since well she's took the route of internet celebrity she could have took the route of doing las vegas shows and touring the world with perhaps some kind of traveling circus doing all kinds of bendy contortionist stuff but instead she focused more on entertainment and videos and she has amassed a massive social media presence which i'm sure pays very well in fact this is her instagram to which you will see she has over 4 million followers this here is her tiktok where she has over 11 million followers but her real passion and her platformer's choice has to be youtube to which she is smashing with over 6.7 million subscribers her videos consist of all sorts through prank videos to just entertainment to just chatting to commentary and of course bending any which way some of her most popular videos are that of music video covers that she made such as this one here we are watching for ariana grande's seven rings and there we have it that is the top 10 unforgettable golden buzzers from america's got talent and where they are now so who was your favorite in that list or who surprised you the most as far as growth goes it's easy to see that one of the most successful and one of the people that have changed what have changed the most in terms of appearance has to be Darcy Lynn. People like Michaela Phillips, who has also changed physically quite a lot, has had the most growth in terms of separating herself from America's Got Talent. In fact, most people remember her now from American Idol, which she did after AGT, interestingly enough. But for me, the person who has found the most success has to be Sophia Dossi. No, she is not performing in Las Vegas. She's not doing sellout world tours, nor is she seen on our television screen. But the millions and millions of followers and subscribers she has amassed over social media and the YouTube presence to which she is getting millions of views shows that she has used AGT as the platform to grow that initial fan base and then she's grown that out very much on her own and let me tell you that must be paying quite the pretty penny but do let me know what your opinion is on all these unforgettable acts and please do not forget to subscribe and like this video you have been watching not so clueless with me cameron and hopefully you are now not so clueless on all things useless to do with america's got talent golden buzzer act and where they are now